Okay, the other question for leadership that we can look at uh, reads, uh, your ward in charge has been called to attend a one month workshop and the area nursing officer has appointed you to act as a ward manager to be the ward leader and manage the ward affairs until when your ward in charge will be back. And question A is saying define the following terms and A1 is saying define leadership and A2 we define management. So we can define leadership as this is a process whereby an individual influences a group of individuals to achieve a common goal. Then management, we can define it as this is a process of planning, organizing, uh, leading and controlling the work of the organizational members and of using all available resources to reach the status stated organizational goal. Then question B1 is saying outline three ways through which people become leaders. So when it comes to outlining three ways through which people become leaders, we can use the BAS theory of leadership. And according to the BAS theory of, theory of leadership, as this theory which talks about how people become leaders. The first one is the trait theory, which states that people are either born or not born with the qualities or, uh, that we dispose them to be, to be successful in leadership roles. That is that certain inherent qualities such as personality as well as cognitive ability are what underlies effective uh, leadership. So apart from that, you find that some personality trait may lead to people naturally being um, integrated into leadership roles. Apart from that, the other type of uh, uh, way through which people can become leaders is through the transformational or process leadership theory. This theory says that people can choose to become leaders and can learn from uh, can learn leadership skills. This is the most widely acceptable uh, theory today and mostly used. Apart from that, the other theory is the great events theory. So in terms of the great events theory, see this states that a crisis or an important event may cause a person to rise to the occasion, which brings out extraordinary leadership qualities in an ordinary person. Question B2 is saying, discuss any four leadership styles that you are going to use. So when it comes to the leadership styles that we can talk about, we have a democratic leadership style. So in terms of democratic leadership style, um, this one, this is where you encourage or this one encourages team members to participate in the decision which need to be made. And it creates a form of shared leadership where each team member is invited to share their knowledge, experience or opinion about a project or situation. Then apart from that, uh, you find that in terms of leadership, democratic leadership in organization, it also involves redistribution of powers and authority between employees and managers to provide the employee involvement in decision making apart from that it encourages employees to be part uh, to be a part of the decision making process and also you can use this leadership style um, to encourage everyone participation as well as improving the staff the staff morale and then the other type of leadership that you can use is the democratic i mean dictatorship leadership style so in terms of dictatorship leadership style this is a style of leadership where, uh, where there, there is always personal control by the leader or manager over the decision-making process for the team. And it is one of which the manager uh, retains power, decision-making, authority, goal-setting and control and assume full responsibility for all the actions. So a leader using this style may choose to receive feedback from their team, but any decision uh, is his to make alone. So you can say, I'll use this leadership style when, decide, uh, when decisions have to be made quickly as there will be no enough time to consult my subordinates. Apart from that, the, the other type of leadership style is bureaucratic leadership style. So bureaucratic leadership style is where the manager manages by the book, everything is done according to the uh, procedure or policy. So if it isn't covered in the book, the manager refers to the next level above him or her. So the, the manager uh, is really more of a police officer in this type of leadership, but he or she enforces the rules. So bureaucratic leaders also tend to prefer rules, laws, or regulations that are rigid. 
So you can use, uh, you can say, I will use this leadership style um, to my subordinates if they need to understand certain standards or procedures uh, in terms of performing routine tasks over and over. Again, the last leadership style that you can use is laissez-faire. So in terms of laissez-faire, this is also known as the delegative leadership, and it is a type of leadership style in which leaders are hands off and allow a group member to make the decision. Uh, and apart from that, you find that the leader is only a figurehead in this type. He does not give any directive and is a free reign leader uh, who does not lead, but leaves the group entirely to itself. So the leader leaves workers without direction, supervision, or coordination such. A leader allows maximum freedom to subordinates. And you can say, I'll use this leadership style when dealing with non-critical issues where my subordinates will have freedom to make their own decisions. Then uh, those are some of the type of leadership style that you can use. Question C is saying, describe any five function of management that you are going to uh, that you are going to perform as a ward manager so describe any five function of, of management that you are going to perform as a ward manager so you can talk about uh, uh, functions such as planning function so in terms of planning function this is deciding in advance what to do when to do it and how to do it and who to do it so it can also be defined as the process of setting goals, developing strategies, and outlining tasks and schedules to be ac to accomplish the goal. So though planning, uh, you can say I will be able to, uh, to determine, through planning, I will be able to determine what needs to be done, who to do it, and when to do it. Then the next, <clears throat> the next function of management that you can talk about is organizing. So in terms of organizing, uh, this is the process of identifying and grouping of the works to be performed, defining and delegating responsibilities and authority, as well as establishing relationships for the purpose of enabling people to, uh, to work most efficiently. So it is simply getting prepared for action by arranging for required resources. And the function of organizing involves the determination of activities that need to be done arranging for all required logistics or resources in order to reach the organization's goals. So through the function of organizing, you can say, I will be able to arrange for what to use in the world, for example, drugs or medical supplies. Uh, the third uh, function that you can talk about is uh, in terms of directing. And directing means giving instruction, guiding and counseling, motivating and leading the staff in the organization in doing work to achieve organization goals. So you can say this is, um, uh, you, 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 in other words, this is making other people work by giving them the plan and leaving them to do the work on their own. So directing involves delegation, supervision, coordination, motivation, as well as evaluation. So through the directing, you can say, I will be able to influence and oversee the behavior of the staff in achieving the organization's goals as well as assisting them in accomplishing their personal or career goals. Then the fourth, um, the fourth function that you can talk about is um, controlling. In terms of controlling, this is determining what is being accomplished, that is evaluating performance, and if necessary, applying corrective measures so that performance tasks place according to, uh, place according to plans. So it is an ongoing, it involves establishing performance standards based on the organization objectives and evaluating and reporting actual job performance. So once management has done both of these, uh, of these things, it should compare the two to determine any necessary corrective or pre preventive action. So through controlling, you can say, I'll be able to identify any potential problems and take the necessary preventive measures. And I will also be able to identify any developing problems that need to be addressed through corrective action. Then the last question, question D is saying, outline five principles of management according to Henry Fayot. So some of the principles of management according to Henry Fayot, you can talk about unity of command. And this principle states that every subordinate should receive orders and be accountable to one superior. If an employee receives orders from more than, from more than one superior, 
it is likely to create confusion or conflict. And then the second one is unit of direction. So you find that here, all those working in the same line of activity must understand and pursue the same objective. So it seeks to ensure unit of action. Apart from that, we have the other principle, which is scalar chain. So in terms of scalar chain, this one refers to the chain of uh, superiors ranging from the top management to the lowest rank. And the principle suggests that there should be a clear line of authority from top to bottom, linking all managers at all levels. And it is considered as a chain of full command. Apart from that, we have division of work. And this is the specialization of the workforce according to the skills of a person, creating specific personal uh, and professional development within the labor force and therefore increasing in productivity. And the fifth, the fifth principle that you can talk about is the spirit the corpse. And this is maintaining teamwork spirit and teamwork spirit helps develop an atmosphere of mutual trust and understanding. So team increase, uh, increase productivity and effectiveness as well. So these are some of the principles that you can talk about and this is how this question can be attempted.